Okay, my students. So today we are going to look at Hong Kong's aging problem. So, what is their biggest problem in Hong Kong? Of course, it's going to be the old age. So let's take a look at what kind of problems there are. Okay, so how do I know this? Um, the population in Hong Kong is expected to reach over 8 million people in 30 years and it will continue to go up each year and the number of people who are 65 or above are, are predicted to increase uh, from only 12% uh, about 10 years ago to 26% another 10 years later so that has almost basically doubled uh, the number of aging in the number of people who are aging in Hong Kong so uh, what implications would this have in Hong Kong so is there anything we can do about it so by looking at some of these trends okay if you take a look at 1981 uh, the number of male and females um, ratio is relatively the same relatively the same and uh, most of the people in in uh, 1981 they are not very old right? they're quite young and as they progress into 2001 about 20 years ago uh, you can still you can start seeing a trend that um, the males the number of males and females are are right in the middle of our demographics so uh, most of these people are around their in their 40s or 50s already and as you predict in about a few years from now we can predict that the number of old people or our seniors are going to be relatively high so um, if we take a look at those we can find out that the median age from 1961 to 1971 has actually decreased a little bit but the trend will not continue it will continue to keep going up okay so in 2011, uh, our median age is going to reach 41.7. And in another 10 years, which is a year or two away from now, it will hit maybe around 45 or so. That's my prediction. And the sex ratio. It's very uh, funny to see that... Uh, in 1961, there are actually more males than females. Um, and that did uh, steady a little bit. Uh, we had more males than the females uh, from 1961 to 1991, according to statistics. But starting in the year 2000, uh, because of the low fertility rate, and a lot more aging um, population uh, our ratio the sex ratio it has actually declined what does that mean there are more females than males so if you take a look at our 2011 figures you can see that 1000 females okay 876 are males so there we have the number of males have significantly dropped so how can we use these statistics to help us in explaining different trends so we can talk about for example we can talk about the median age so I'll sub substitute this part here so the median age increased from and then I want to know the year 
Okay, so the median age increased from 1971 to 1981. It did increase in those two years, right? Or you say, oh, can I use decreased? Definitely. Okay, you can use decreased. So the median age decreased slightly from 1961 to 1971. So it did decrease it a little bit. So we to make it sound more like it did not go down a lot. So we can use the word uh, and never appear slightly, slightly going down. Okay, we can use it for other statistics here. So I'm not going to go through all of them with you. You can see how it is being used. Okay. Uh, also, you can use increase and decrease as a noun. Okay, how I use it here is there was a increase in the median age. Uh, there was an increase in the median age. Okay, so if you take a look, wow, the numbers keep going higher and higher. Uh, likewise, there was a decrease in the sex ratio. Right? So some of the vocabulary that you can use in this unit is when we talk about verbs that are going up, we use verbs like increased, rose has increased or risen uh, using the pp here or the negative form would be decreased dropped declined fell has decreased or dropped and we go back to look at some adverbs that can describe how much increase or how much decrease there is. Okay, so steadily, maintained, that means not much changed. Slightly, slowly, rapidly, sharply, drastically. So this is talking about the, uh, the speed it has been changing. Okay, so I hope you understand a little bit more about the trends of um, aging population okay so I'll come back in the next lesson and we will look at other statistics to support my answer and how we can support the aging problem in Hong Kong okay so I'm um, Alan sir please make sure you subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video goodbye